Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am truly zonked, and the monster under my bed says that that's okay. But whatever. So, okay. If you watched my previous episode, um, you'll recall that I tried to get across the Bamboo Bridge and discovered a bug where uh, it's unable to be repaired in survival mode. Um, I did finally find on the Steam discussion boards uh, one message thread with other people uh, experiencing this bug. Apparently, this is a return of a bug that had been fixed in the past um, and has apparently come back uh, in a, an update uh, for version 1.9.2, which also dropped just yesterday. So, um, there is an existing bug report in the bug subforum. Uh, so it's been reported. I tested out a couple of things uh, to no avail. Uh, right now, it's we'll see if they can fix the game so that existing saves can um, uh, you know pick up where they left off. But there's a strong likelihood that it's not going to be permanently fixed without restarting the playthrough. In any case, um, that playthrough that I spent the last week doing is pretty much shot right now um it just i i can't go anywhere that i want to go yeah you know, there's there's a lot of stuff that i need on the other side of that bridge and no way to get there um i was really kind of torn what do i want to do uh one of the other things that happened is um creepy jar just released a preview of uh the, the new dlc that's coming out for this uh spirit of amazonia is that right um uh, the thing about that there is that that preview is only available on the experimental branch. And while you can take your saves from the, the regular version and port them over to the experimental branch so you can go play that, your saves are going to be permanently modified by that version and you're not going to be able to move the save back to uh, the regular version uh, when they fully release uh, the, the new map and, and storyline. So, uh, I thought about going over there with my existing save, and, uh, uh, you know, it's. It, I saw somebody playing it. KG48 did a great video. Uh, there's definitely some neat stuff to look at there, but doesn't look like there's any real content yet. Um, but we'll get there. Anyways, long-winded saying w way of saying, uh, I'm going to start a new playthrough. Um... But this time, I'm going to do the story mode. Um, maybe you've seen the story mode. I'm going to guess you probably have. Uh, maybe you haven't. Um, the story mode isn't terribly long. Um, and it's definitely pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, so we're just going to get into this here. So I'm starting on King of the Jungle. And we're going to use this save. This is a, this one here, I had made a new playthrough to retest uh, the bridge. And... Um, I thought it was going to work at first, and then it turned out, no, it doesn't. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to keep that save, and I'm going to recycle this save to be the story mode. Uh, I have played um, the story mode in green hell mode before, got the achievement for that. Um, but like I said, I'm not a fan of permadeath, generally speaking, so King, King of the Jungle is just fine for me here. Um, now let's just wait for this to get started. Any day now. And I'm, I may be narrating less uh, because there's, you know, ample dialogue in the game to, to uh, tell a story. Day one. <clears throat> okay. I'm here. Hey! I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? So, uh, actually, I only had one thing first. I meant to do this before, because the farking V-Sync never stays on when you reload the game. Okay. You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in in my backpack. A teddy? 
<laughs> um, what exactly? The gear should already be at the camp. You will know when the time comes. It's a teddy. <laughs> Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Find a camp. All right. So starting off in story mode is nothing at all like starting off in survival. Uh, I mean, yeah, you got to do a lot of the uh, same things um, to collect stuff. Um, but things are a little more structured. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Jake, um, I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still. Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Dabahaka village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Well, that's everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be alright. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. All right, these guys are definitely doing the glamping thing here. I mean, look at this. Look at this. What do we got? The Lost Tribe. This is their land. This is their land. It is not your land. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not going to read out everything here. Um, Shibono is the location. There's some hunters. Oh. It is worth, uh, hold on a second. This is crazy, but we really need their help. Our entire, our entire planet depends on it. Bleh, I can't read. Okay. Um, so, we'll go over this. This is uh, all these individual things here. Uh, but first, this intro basically serves as the tutorial for the, uh, the game. Right now, I just need to build a fire. I'm gonna take this machete. Now, there are machetes in survival mode that you can use. Um, they're not great, though. The oops, did I get long sticks out of that? Seriously? Oh, that's weird. The thing about the machetes, though, is the ones you find in. Um, survival mode they're all rusty which doesn't sound like it should be a big deal I need to kill that plant There's more. Um, they break down pretty quickly well not that quickly but quickly enough um, but worse than that is you, you don't gain any skill from using them um, so you know it's, it's like yeah they're fine for combat and, and stuff but uh um, there's nothing to improve with them. Hmm. 
This will do. None of this matters here right now because it's all going to go south. <laughs> Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh. But it feels that way. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Not on the well, not the best start of the expedition. <laughs> okay, he wants me to make the hand drill. One large stick, one small stick. Wait, why is it not me? Let's go. Okay, I had to look at the recipe before I could get the goal, and now... This is the most basic mm. fire starting. I need tool to find something game. dry. And okay, so here's an interesting tidbit: when you've got no tinder at all, um, yeah, you can chop down you know, shrubs for for leaves, but they take time to dry out. Uh, until then, unless you can find a bird's nest, um, which I don't think is what they set up this area to do. Um, there's really only one source of uh, dry leaves, and that's some of these palm trees. There are two kinds of palm trees. This is one that I, I call the red palm. Um, I don't know that's, if that's what it's officially called. That's just what I think of it because it's uh, you know got that orangey red color. If you chop this down, you will get dried leaves from the palms from this. I don't like to do that, though, because this drops nuts for fats. So there is another kind of palm you can chop down here, and that is this guy. This drops nothing. Um, it doesn't. It's not even good for wood. Uh, it's really only good to get um, palms with. So I'm gonna clear these palms out, and some of these palms should be dry. Just drop these. Oh, did they change that. I'm going to have to chop down that nut tree. There's no dry palms came off that. Ah, crap. Alright. Nut tree it is. And you can see, you know, the dry leaves on here. It'd be nice if you could just pick them off and leave the tree, but... I love you. Okay, dry leaf. There should be three. I'm bummed that they did that. I don't like chopping these ones, these trees. Okay. So now I've got some dry leaves for ti ki um, kindling. Tindling, yes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Mia! The fire is burning. That could have gone a couple different How do you ways. you do it? <laughs> what? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. I love you. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, if I knew it would put you in danger, I wouldn't have written that damn book. Yeah, 
And if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. And I love you too, Karina. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Hello? Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Where are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. I know, I know. I read your book. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Oh, exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Just be careful, please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine, and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. 
All right, so let's just look at some of these things really quickly. Uh, there's no monkeys in the game, or at least none that you can see or do anything with. I haven't noticed that before. Okay, um, you might have noticed, and this really isn't a big thing, but I don't refer to these guys as natives. While it's not incorrect, to me, there's a certain smack of colonialism in that. Oh dear, the natives are attacking. Uh, the natives are restless. Um, so, to me, they're the warriors. Um, and I believe, are they called the Wat Waraha? Um, Yabawaka is one tribe. And you don't actually interact with them. You do get to see plenty of them in the story mode, though. Um, I could have sworn I read something there. They're Waraha. But I could be mistaken. Okay, we got the note. Look at the cork board. Alright, so... Yeah, they tell you about the dart frog. And how the... The, the, uh, the tribes people... Um acclimate themselves to the poison. Alright. Yabawaka. This is your first main hint to use tobacco to treat uh, snake bite. Okay, yep, we know all those are all our friends. And... There is an achievement for reading all of the um, um, the text items in the game. Uh, I have completed that, so I might not go out of my way to read every single thing here. Uh, there's really no point to collecting the protein bars because things are going to go south on us real soon, and you're not going to keep anything that uh, that you pick up right now. So uh, that's why I don't even care about the machete, and we're going to just lose it and not be able to get back here for a very long time. Um, okay, go north. Take me to dinner first, huh? Mia, I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Just Mia, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Like one. There it is. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> oh, she has to tell me first. Okay, so. Oh, that's definitely not good. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? Yes, I do. Mullinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf, surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. <laughs> Let's 
actually hold the cup for one second. I'm afraid my audio might be too low. I guess. Okay, let's patch myself up here. Here I am, all wrapped up nicely. Like hell. Oh, pobrecito mío. Imagine I am hugging you now. Mm-hmm. Better? Ah, uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? How you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. <laughs> I am optimistic. <gasps> I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please, please answer me. Mia, what happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia. What's going on over there? I do like the cutscenes in this game. Mia! Mia? God damn it, this radio. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I had an accident. I don't know what happened. Please, help. Over. Fuck. Okay, 
wants us to check the notebook. What happened? Where is Mia? She called me from a tribe village. What was she afraid of? What was I running from? Uh, fact, it's the 33rd day of the expedition. My notebook is drenched in water. <laughs> I don't have any supplies. Mia is not responding. Uh, okay, so we got new recipes and things. The goal at the moment, find help. Oh, that's nice and broad, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, but what we are going to start doing is, um, you'll see now, we have utterly nothing in our pack. Time to make it all. So, what I want to do first is build a save point. And, like I mentioned in the first playthrough, you can't do anything until you've made a stone blade. Literally, nothing else happens. Um, this is, uh, I've heard this called the Haven, um, and this is, this is a nice place to build. Uh, the problem I've had building here in the past is, uh, there's no real reliable source of fat. Uh, but we can talk about that another time. Right now, let's see what I can pick up off the ground here, see if I can find another, um, stone sticks or something. I believe there's also some obsidian around here. And, you know, I, I don't normally, you know, bother with obsidian too much. I mean, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, there is something wrong with it, and that's that um, it doesn't respawn. Uh, so, any obsidian you pick up and use, that's it. It's gone. And what that really means for you is that there's no way to um, build items. Like, things you can make with obsidian, you know, you can make blades, axes, uh, spears, but there just isn't enough of it in the game to, ah, uh, here it is, to get a spear up to um, 100%. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's great. I mean, it definitely lasts longer than a stone, um, but you're never going to be able to make 100% duration items out of it. That said, though, um, let's see if any other rocks spawned in here. Otherwise, we may just go ahead and make an obsidian blade. Yeah, usually all the rocks in this area spawn right around here, and once they get going, it's just way too many. They're just constantly underfoot. All right, so um, let's do this. I craft that with, I believe, a piece of rope. Oh no! Oh, a stick. Is it a stick? Now oh, that's an axe. Um, do I want an axe? I need a blade so that I can carve with. Ugh! I thought you could make. Not two rope. I could have sworn you could make a blade. Oh well, uh, an obsidian axe will do for the moment. Uh, I am still going to need the blade though, because I won't be able to skin any animals without it. And basically, I just, right at this point, I just want to get a shelter down and save. And we'll end the video here. thing down.
Okay, so sorry about that long silence there. Um, all right, we're going to call this here for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll come back. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I am truly zonked, and um, this ends chapter one of, uh, of our playthrough of story mode. And uh, as I learn any new things about the bridge um, for the other playthrough, uh, I'll let you guys know, but um, I don't expect anything to happen immediately. Um, and anyways, that's all I've got for now. Thank you again for watching, and uh, you take care out there.